I was first introduced to the project by Robin Knowles, whose father, in fact, sailed the Robin back from Spain. I was asked by Robin Knowles whether um, I would be interested in becoming a trustee. But here we are today, and that's what uh, uh, I decided to do. So we're here on a glorious sunny Saturday, June 28, 2008. We've just gone through the barrier round about Woolwich. shadowing SS Robin all the way to Gravesend and then she's going to go on to Lowestoft. We've got lots of friends, supporters and volunteers who have come to wish Robin on this first stage of a great journey um, that we're about to embark on in Lowestoft to the refit. Today is a very significant day, both for the SS Robin and for a major new railway project through London called Crossrail. I'm Tony Walters and I'm the chief engineer for the Crossrail project. Um, and we've been discussing with the SS Robin uh, how we might collaborate to ensure that the SS Robin can be uh, kept in the Docklands while Crossrail builds a very large station in West India Dock. And it's been necessary because it will essentially be locked into the Docklands during a five-year period of the construction of our Isle of Dogs station to get some essential works done to safeguard the ship during that period. So today it started on a, the first leg of its journey towards being refurbished. And that's been taken out of West India Dock all the way around the coast to Lowestoft where it'll undergo a four or five month uh, treatments to the uh, to the hull to refurbish the hull and make sure that it's uh, worthy seaworthy and watertight to be locked in back in the uh, the Isle of Dogs while we build our station so it's very nice to uh, to actually see this uh, a milestone for us a milestone for the SS Robin and the trust and we're hoping that we will be able to collaborate in the future uh, having supported this this first uh, leg of the, uh, of the refurbishment for the SS Robin. What, what we have here is a major new railway project for the 21st century going east-west across London um, working together with uh, a boat from the uh, two centuries ago so it's I think a very good example of, of the integration of uh, transportation aspirations from different centuries.